we walk in mm -hmm. and Gerhardt goes, this is a street car. I'm like, what? What do you mean it's a street car? He goes, yeah, look at it. Look at the bathroom. There's another street car over there. I'm like, you're kidding me. We were blown away by it. First, we thought we would never move in a house like this. No way. <laughs> this is crazy, you know, but it's fun. You come up to the little porch, and then when you come through the door, you have to kind of stoop a little because it is a little short door, and it feels like you're kind of a hobbit. <laughs> so sometimes Kara and I are creating little jokes about that, uh, a little hobbit house. It was very strange because the low ceilings, I almost hit my head on the ceiling, and it was pretty run down. Originally, when we first moved here, the streetcar windows were acrylic, plastic, faded. It was really pretty bad. So Gerhardt got on it. It took him a week, but he built these light boxes with LED lights in them. I wanted to create this look of stained glass. To do that, I had some acrylic panels cut to several different sizes. And then we bought some window film that has this fake stained glass pattern. And Mary and I put the window film onto the acrylic panels. And then I had to build some light fixtures to illuminate the panels from behind. There's a total of about 436 lights in this whole system. And you can create different color effects with it if you like. So you can get blue moon sort of color in the evening, and you can get a sunset red as the sun is going down. You can get really nice task lighting. When we first bought the home, it had a lot of color, a lot of really crazy color, like it was very bohemian. We wanted to keep that vibe, that energy, because that's how Santa Cruz is. But we're grandparents. <laughs> we don't want to go too crazy and too hippie, right? We knew we needed some help and my painter recommended house. And he said, put your ideas on an idea book. And then when you and Gerhardt and I get together again, we'll look and see what you liked in common. That's how we picked all the colors. I loved reading the comments on house. Most of the, the comments were great and awesome. But then once in a while, I, I got a comment that said, oh, it's just a glorified mobile home or something like that. <laughs> and I thought, wow, that's, that's crazy. I wish this guy could come and actually see this place because the streetcars are made of redwood. And so that's why they've been able to stand for over 100 years. They're solid. They're not going anywhere. It feels cozy. I come home and it's just enough square footage to where I can say, hey, Gerhard, I'm home. And he can hear me from the other room. I love historic homes. And the idea of these streetcars being in the 1920s, running down the streets of Santa Cruz, just blows my mind. And I'm kind of a Mary Mary Quite Contrary sort of person, you know? I just don't do things the way most people do. So this is perfect for me. <laughs> it's just different enough. And then we added our touch to it. We've done a lot of work to it, so it's been great. It's been a really fun process. It's been a labor of love. I love the smell of the ocean air. Even at night, we can open the window and hear the sea lions barking down on the wharf, you know, so that's nice. And my dad passed away when I was about 10 years old, mm. and, but he used to take us to the beach all the time, to Chincoteague, and it was the Atlantic Ocean, a lot of big waves and warm water. So we used to go all the time, and even after my dad passed away, my mom would take us to the beach, and, and so that was my happy place, you know, my happy zone. Very easy walking distance to the beach, easy access to various running trails, and it's just really great to live so close to the beach. Pour you some wine. Okay, thank you. Gerhardt and I have been married for 30 years now. We have three kids and six grandkids. So we thought it would be great to have a house in Santa Cruz where the kids can go to the boardwalk and go to the beach. The last house we were in was in Los Gatos in the mountains. So it's very peaceful and serene, very quiet, you know, no street lights. We came here and there were a lot of street lights, you know, city, people walking by, students walking by, cars going by. So we had to adjust to the noise and to the lights. In between the bedroom and the bathroom is an actual streetcar door. From the bedroom, you're going to the bathroom. You're actually going where the conductor might have sat. And so there's this door that actually runs on tracks. 
so when you're opening and closing it, you can hear that rumbling, just like you would if you were in the streetcar. Now, that was originally really fun, but at night, sometimes it's a little annoying because, you know, you have guests and they can hear that rumbling and it's like, what was that? <laughs> it's like the streetcar is actually running. So it's a little challenging in that respect, but I would never get rid of it. It's part of the streetcar and it just makes it all that more special. When Gara and I moved here, we had to go from a 2,500 square foot home to a 750 square foot home. <laughs> so we had to downsize big time. I love organizing things, so it was an opportunity to get really organized. If we end up retiring here, I think the kids will really appreciate it because Gara and I eventually leave the world. We won't leave them with a big mess <laughs> and a big house full of stuff and junk. So sometimes I still wake up in the morning and go, I'm living in a cable car. This is crazy. I'm living in a cable car. Can this really be? Is this right? But then I just love it. I love coming home to it. And it's me. It's unique. It's Gerhardt. It's both of us together. We love it. Just looking forward to the kids coming and going to the beach with them and building those sandcastles and just enjoying the rest of our lives together.